Hello everyone, it's Retro Action, and this is Transformers Rise of the Beasts Deluxe Class Air Razor, released by Hasbro in 2023. This is the latest Transformer I picked up in my Retro Action toy on number 5, which we saw, which you saw yesterday, well, which I did yesterday. So this is the latest of the Transformers Rise of the Beasts figures I've gotten so far. This is a mainline figure, not a studio series. This is the Deluxe Class Air Razor. As you can see, we've got the mainline packaging here, and this fantastic packaging. We've got the Air Razor there with the Maximal logo. We have a picture of her in Falcon mode. We've got the Transformers Rise of the Beasts with the volcanic eruption going on in the background, Hasbro 6 Plus. Again, it's that really cool, ominous Amazon Amazon jungle Aztec style packaging. Yeah, with the Aztec infrastructure we've got going on here. Really cool packaging once again. We've got the Maxwell logo with that green glow. Hasbro, uh, no, authentic even. Again, got more of that volcanic eruption. Great more artwork there, Deluxe Class. And you've got the weird sundial symbol. And there's Air Razor, 24 steps to transform from robot to falcon, Hasbro. And, we still, and it's still the windless packaging with the Nazca lines in the back. Well, it looks like Nazca lines. Right, so that's that. And there's the instructions. Again, that strange yellow style. Pretty cool looking though. But once again, the boxes look fantastic for these. And the figures continue to be fantastic as well. So this is Air Razor. We've got an absolutely beautiful head sculpt. I much prefer that one to the Studio Series version. This just definitely reminds me more of Beast Wars. This Air Razor definitely seems to be more Beast Wars than Rise of the Beasts. This is the thing. We don't actually know if, how she's going to look in the film. But it's probably more likely that it's the Studio Series version. That's the more film accurate. Than this one. But she comes with these strange blade sword weapons. Don't remember her using Beast Wars, but the weapon she has for the Studio Series one, she definitely used in Beast Wars, so that's interesting. But we do have these fantastic wings. It's just a really cool looking figure. Again, the head sculpt is fantastic with the green eyes and gold. Not as much gold as on the Studio Series one, but that's quite nice. As for the articulation, the legs will bend at the knee. There's a rotation at the hip. I'll bend at the ankle, it comes up to the side. We have no waist swivel, the waist does not, the waist doesn't turn, but we have shoulder articulation, the shoulders can go up, out to the side, the arms go out to the side, the arms bend at the elbow, bring up the shoulder pad, like so, and there's, I believe there's a rotation at the elbow as well, and we do have some hand, I don't think we have hand articulation, it's just for the transformation. Hands don't really articulate, they just kind of move upwards for the transformation. As for the head, rotates 360 degrees. So there it is, that is Air Razor. And it looks fantastic. You can angle these wings in many different ways. Give it quite the effect. Yeah, very quite effective. You can rotate the wings many effective ways. So you can have them up like that, or angled down like this, like she's flying or just has just landed. You can have them out to the you can have them straight out like so. Or you can move them up. Looks very cool. These weapons look cool. Nice detail on them. This figure's got tons of great detail all around. It looks fantastic. Got these feathers like hanging out of her legs here, which is interesting. There's like a stopper though, so they don't really going all the way. I like this bit, it looks laser against her back. Looks really cool. Really cool look we've got going with this figure. There it is. Right, so the transformer, what we're going to do, I'm actually going to use the instructions because last time the video stopped on me while I was doing it. I would try and not use the instructions but it turns out once again I am low on storage. Well, it seems to be a recurring problem if you've watched other videos on this channel. So because of that I am just going to let you know right now, I am going to use the instructions to transform this, this one. I've only transformed it twice so far. Uh, I was going to say it wasn't complex, but I, don't, I can't seem to figure it out, so... <laughs> the last take of this video, so it's up to you whether or not this is a complicated transformation or not. If I had more time, I'd probably be able to do it, but... Unfortunately, I am against time at the moment with this iPad. So, there I have it. Right, so... To transform it, it's quite an involved transformation, I'm just going to say that, I mean, I don't, I don't know if it's complex or what, again, if I had more time to film it, I'd probably be able to do it. Right. In fact, 
I've already started without looking at the instructions, so maybe I don't need the instructions. Let's see how we do. Right, so we're going to bring this bit up like this. We're going to bring these like that. I've now stopped using the instructions. You can see. Put them away now. So we're going to give it another shot. Fingers crossed the, the video won't stop at me this time. Right. Uh, what we want to do really is we want to separate this part somehow. Like this. How does this work again? There we go. It goes like that. And we want to tuck the head away like this. So the head goes all the way in like that. It kind of hides, kind of doesn't. That's kind of a shame. And then we've got the bird head here, which we're just going to do that for now. And then what we want to do is it's kind of a mess at the moment. What we want to do now is we want to. Right, I don't think those wings are in the right place. Because these wings are going to become the wings. Bird mode, so I need these wings to. There we go, it's going like that. There we go, turn the wings that so they're facing that way. And then bring all of this up like so. And there's a little tab there, and if I get these legs sorted out, what will happen is everything will connect. Like so. So you can see there's a tab there. That needs to go in there like that. It's going to click in. And as you can see, we're nearly there. So we're going to bring this leg around like this. We're going to fold this piece out. It clicks into place. Then it needs to connect up with this part. Like so. Uh, right. What's going on here? Why is it not working? Ah, oh, that's why. This bit. There we go. Yep, that's better. I had the leg around the wrong way. Now, as you can see, there's now a tab there, and it's going to click into place. And click all these tabs together. Like so. That's that wing done. I always forget to do this bit. I'm going to take this round like so. Oh, not like that. Alright, so it goes this way. Like this. Let's bring this out. Click that into place. Bring this in. Click this into place. Like so. There you have that. There's the bird head. It's a very nice bird head. A falcon head, I think. Then what we want to do is we want to rotate these legs like so. And bring these around like that. Straighten out these legs. You can do whatever you want with these legs to try and make sure it stands up. There's quite a lot you can do with these. So let's angle them forward like that. And that is the falcon. That is Air Razor in her falcon mode. And it's a very successful bird mode. It looks fantastic. We managed to do it, so it's not too bad. It's quite a good transformation for Deluxe Figure. It looks really cool. Now this is a better Falcon mode than the Studio Series 1, I think. This is probably the best mode of this figure. I really like this. Actually, I don't know if it's better than the Studio Series. I think the robot mode is. I'm not too sure about the bird mode. I can't exactly remember at the time of this recording what the bird mode looks like. There are storage ports for the um, weapons, so they can go there and there like that. So that's cool, we've got weapon storage. This wing has come untabbed, which is annoying. But for the sake of the video, I'm just going to leave it untabbed for now, in case this video stops me. But there we have it. It is a fantastic bird mode. These legs can be a bit annoying, but yeah, you can do quite a lot of them. Is this out? Oh, that's why. This bit isn't. There you go. There it is. It's quite an epic wingspan, and it definitely reminds me of Beast Wars this mode. Beast Wars Air Razor. It's the, uh, the bird head looks absolutely fantastic. This is a fantastic mode. It looks brilliant. And there you have it. That is Transformers Rise of the Beasts Deluxe Class Air Razor. A fantastic figure. Oh, hang on a second. I just noticed that this bit isn't aligned properly. It's a fantastic figure. And it's great in both modes. I definitely recommend picking this one up. And you can get some really cool... Well, you can get some really cool poses in this mode. You have it fly in like that, it looks fantastic. I really you want to bend the legs up like that. So you can come flying in, taking up some terracons, absolutely fantastic stuff. Anyway, that's been Retro Action. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Definitely recommend getting this figure. Bye for now.